Hey everyone, the name's Eric Dorn. In today's video, allow me to discuss a concept that I find really interesting, and that's INTJ dress and clothing and fashion styles. Often I find that uh, INTJs engage in something I would like to call ESFP armor. Found and triggered by their inferior functions, I think that the INTJs are one of the people who, like the INFJs, like to strike themselves out of the group rather than to blend in with the group. And uh, also, beyond this, uh, the E, the INTJs have an artistic side in how they tend to dress and express themselves with clothes and fashion. I would argue that this is not true to all INTJs. I've actually encountered INTJs that uh, either don't care at all about how they look or that have come to develop extremely unusual and uh, often rebellious or punk or uh, alternative styles of fashion. Uh, one of the strangest things I've noticed is uh, the, the experience of Lolita INTJs. Uh, and that there you have, uh, for example, a lot of people who enjoy, <laughs> I don't know, uh, peacocking in the sense of striking themselves out of the group uh, with a unique uh, fashion sense. And you have people that enjoy dressing up in punk style outfits, black. In uh, you have the Lisbeth Salander at the Millennium Trilogy. You have the people that, for some reason, enjoy um, dressing up in uh, creative ways. I've uh, got the chance to know INTJs that have very unusual hairstyles that. Uh, have like they they have, they've just found a uh, self-expression form that uh, is unusual to me. It's uh, strange to me, but also very cool and very interesting. I wonder why INTJs feel a need to think about how they look because. If you consider their native interests, intuition and thinking, you wouldn't think this was something that would happen. But if you think about how the inferior manifests itself, you realize that uh, the inferior functions of a personality type often are triggered by stress or anxiety, or they are a weapon in a way, or an armor, uh, to protect yourself from anxiety and stress. So if you are anxious about how other people look at you. And I think that's more true to INTJ women than it is to INTJ men. Then I think um, often finding fashion and exploring alternative styles of fashion, something ESFPs naturally love, uh, is something that can help reduce anxiety and reduce stress in social situations. In fact, I think that a lot of people, and you wouldn't think this was true, but you, a lot of uh, INTJs, I think, uh, who are made awkward or anxious by social situations and by fitting in and the topic of, oh, how do I fit in with the group? How do I SF? How do I, uh, you know, how do I blend in with the community? Well, with these styles, you don't have to. You clearly signal to the group that you have a style, you have your unique state way of expressing yourself, and you don't have to care about what other people think. And there's, and I, I think there's, an, there's a relief in that because. Uh, if you're uh, anxious about fitting in and you uh, end up dressing up in an alternative style, that's a freedom, that's a liberation from, uh, from caring about how you look, through caring about how you look. And that's uh, the interesting thing about it. That's why I call it ESFP armor. I believe that INTJs pursue rebellious fashion styles, alternative fashion, because it gives them peace, it gives them center, it gives them calm in social situations and in situations where you have other people's eyes on you, other people looking at you, other people judging you. And um, often with INTJ, the question of judgment and, uh, and dealing with social judgment and dealing with how other people look at you and view you, that's something that can be difficult. Now, as I said, not all INTJs engage in alternative fashion styles. In fact, uh, a lot of INTJs don't actually engage in, uh, they don't actually care about their dress styles and how they look and how they appear so much. Uh, there are the INTJs that are, and this is of course true to nerds as well as the programmers and as well as the uh, normal people, uh, <laughs> that uh, 
they found a sense of peace where they don't they haven't they have probably not uh, been brought up in a culture that judged them uh they have probably not uh, felt in school that the other people were constantly uh, looking down on them for how they looked they got up they grew up with a little more peace often i think that's the case i think intjs that have uh, more normal ordinary styles of dressing and fashion are more likely to be people who had uh relatively peaceful and stable upbringing of at least for the intjs i know with alternative fashion styles most of them mentioned that they had difficulties in school um not necessarily with being bullied but some did uh but with overall feeling excluded and with uh, overall uh struggling with how to fit in and how to be a part of the natural way of life in a way now what can an INTJ do to deal with uh, uh, SF-related anxieties? How can you deal with how other people look at you and how other people see you for how you dress, how you appear? I think because often uh, how you look, how you appear is such, an, such a degree of anxiety for an, ES, for an INTJ, uh, often the answer is try not to think about it. Often, um, I think that uh, if you have the choice not to have to deal with it, I would say don't deal with it. Uh, because often it's much better if you can focus on exploring your fascination and what you think is fun and what you think is motivating. Uh, you shouldn't have to care about what other people want you to be like or what other people expect you from you. So if you can, just make friends, to connect uh, with people who have similar interests to you without having to care, that's the ideal. Uh, but um, if you feel like this is a big anxiety for you, then I actually would recommend finding some way to show other people that you don't give a fuck. <laughs> uh, uh, get the tattoo, get something unique, get something that strikes you out from others. And uh, show others that, uh, well, uh, I don't want to fit in. I don't want to blend in. I don't want to be like everyone else. At least I think that's one way to make peace with social judgment.